Hi, my name is Talisha and welcome to our Kid City lesson for the day. Today, we will learn about how God chose Jeremiah as a prophet to the nations. Do you remember the first person that you met? I know I don't. In fact, the first new person I remember meeting was someone we lived with when I was, uh, I think, three years old. But it's crazy to think that you probably don't remember meeting your mom or your dad for the first time. They've always just been there. And the Bible teaches us that God knows everything about us. And when we are awake or asleep, how many hairs are on our head, everything. And in our Bible story today, we are going to learn about a man whom God knew before he was ever born. And that sounds really exciting to me. So let's watch the video and find out what happens. Hey there, I'm Megan and this is Jesse. Jesse, I have a special job for you today. You do? What is it? I want you to introduce today's Bible story. Me? That's a lot of pressure, Megan. Oh no, I'm not sure if I can do it. What if I mess up? What if I don't do it right? I'm so little. I don't know that I'm ready for this, Megan. You can relax, Jesse. You already did it. Did what? You introduced today's Bible story. I did? How? God gave a special job to Jeremiah in today's Bible story. Jeremiah wasn't sure he could do it, but God promised to be with him and give him the words to say. Let me tell you the story. Jeremiah was a priest. One day, God told Jeremiah to talk to the people in Judah. God began giving messages to Jeremiah. The first time God talked to Jeremiah, God said, I knew you before I made you in your mama's belly. Before you were born, I picked you to do very special things. I picked you to be a prophet to the nations. Being a prophet was a big job. Jeremiah would have to listen to what God said. Then he would travel to other places and tell people what God said. Jeremiah said, Oh no, God, I don't know how to talk in front of other people. I'm too young for this job. I am just a boy. God said, I will tell you where to go and what to say. Do not be afraid. I will be with you and I will take care of you. Then God touched Jeremiah's mouth. I am giving you the words to say, God said. My message to the people of Judah is bad news. They will be punished because they have disobeyed me and have done wrong things. But my message is also good news. After the people are punished, I will help them. I will make them strong again. Then God gave Jeremiah two visions. Visions are like dreams, except Jeremiah was awake. Instead of giving Jeremiah words, God showed him pictures. Jeremiah saw a branch of an almond tree. The almond branch showed that God would do what he said he would do, and he would do it soon. In the second vision, Jeremiah saw a boiling pot. The pot was overflowing. It meant that trouble was coming for everyone who lived in Judah. God told Jeremiah what was going to happen one day. He said that rulers were going to come and stay right outside of the city. They would attack Jerusalem and other cities in Judah. This is how God was going to punish Judah for disobeying him. The people in Judah had stopped loving God. Instead, they worshiped gods that were not real. God gave Jeremiah an important job. Jeremiah had a lot to do. God said to Jeremiah, get ready to go. Tell the people everything I say. Don't be afraid, I will make you strong. If other people fight you, you will win. I will take care of you and keep you safe. God chose Jeremiah before he was born to tell people what God said. God had also planned all along for his son Jesus 
to show God's love for people by dying on the cross. Jesus rescues people from sin. God gave Jeremiah responsibility over nations and kingdoms. And that didn't mean Jeremiah was a king. It meant he had a job to do and would speak the true words of the king of kings. And Jeremiah's words would come true because he was God's messenger speaking God's words. And God chose Jeremiah for this difficult but important job before Jeremiah was even born. And God chose another messenger, his very own son, Jesus. And long before anyone was born, too. All along, God had a plan to send Jesus to save people from sin and help them to see what God is like. And Jesus spoke God's words and showed God's love and goodness to the world. And then he died on the cross for our sin and rose from the dead to make the way back to God. Let's pray together. God, you always have a plan. Your plans are better than anything we could hope for or ask you to do. Help us to trust you and obey you and remind us how much you love us. Use us to glorify your name and spread your kingdom. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. Oh wait, we started a new unit today and that means we have a new big picture question. And our question is, why should we obey God? Think about it and we can talk about it in class together. Have a wonderful week. Bye.